All right guys, so this week's video, we're gonna head down to the Milwaukee Harbor. Now this is where I, I guide, I'm a charter captain down there. I spent 20, 20 some years working down here. And what we're gonna do in this week's video is gonna be a lot different than what you're gonna see in a lot of brown trout videos. Because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using that live scope unit in the front of my boat, which is not a sponsored product. And we are gonna be hunting them down. I'm gonna be looking for them. And it tells you how far away, which direction they're swimming. I can cast my bait out, see it falling, get the fish into biting. We're gonna finesse fish casting for big old brown town browns. Now, I don't know what it's gonna take. Might be jigging spoons, might be plastics, might be a hair jig, paddle tail. Might even be spawn. I'm bringing it all. When you go down here and you're gonna finesse fish, you wanna bring as much tackle as possible for finesse fish and big browns. I have some exciting news I wanna share with you guys. Check it out. We have our new hot spoons. They're just launching them right now. They're gonna be available at hotfishing.com. American made product. We're a small company with big dreams, but we're trying to make some really cool epic fishing tackle for you guys to catch big fish. So check them out at hotfishing.com. I'm gonna get the boat hooked up. We're gonna go see if we can put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down coming right at you. All right, guys, so I'm gonna mix it up and try one of our hot spoons here. Um, this is just a uh, 3 8 ounce. You know, when you come out here jigging, you never really know what it's gonna take. A jigging, a jigging spoon, a blade bait, a casting spoon, plastics, tube jig, hair jig. Fish will eat a lot of different things and a lot of times they won't eat anything. They'll eat only spawn. So we're just gonna mix it up, see if I can get something to bite. We do have a bunch of wind that's forecasted for later. So the wind's really gonna start cranking. We got some rain coming in. So we'll see. We may have some technical audio difficulties, but I apologize. I'm good at, uh, usually good at catching fish, but not always good on the audio side. <laughs> so stick with me, we'll see what happens. Oh, he's coming, he's coming for it. He's coming for it. Got him, got him, got him. Heck yeah, on the jigging spoon, on our hot spoon, heck yeah. I don't think he's that big, I hope I'm wrong. Let's go. Just getting out here, jigging them up on jigging spoons, guys. You never know what it's gonna take to catch them. It's a nice little silver brown. Now, if a guy wanted to come out here and eat some of these fish, this would probably be the size of the fish you'd wanna eat, right here. Nice little small silver brown trout look at that nice nice little guy just to start the day we'll take him fish number one on the hot spoon all right little guy i don't know if you saw that but that fish was really high it was only about eight five to eight feet down and he came right up and ate it I, it took me like three casts to get to him but there we go I'm gonna get my pliers and unhook this guy. I'm not even gonna net him. Just gonna unhook him right here in the back of the boat. But yeah, this is a nice little silver fish. A lot of guys like to smoke them and eat them. I personally don't like them out of the Milwaukee Harbor. I think they're fishy, but I love eating browns out of Lake Superior. There we go, fish number one, guys. It's a fish right there. I don't know if that's a brown, no. It's 30 feet right in front of me. Cast right in front, about 30 feet. A little bit behind them. A little bit. Let it sink. Give it a rip. Give it a little rip. Rip. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. It might be a brown. Got him. Got him. You see that? Let's go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. You can see him right here on live scope. That's a good one. Heck yeah, on the jigging spoon. Number two. That's a big fish right there. Way heavier. That fish was on the bottom. I almost thought it was a carp or something because a lot of the browns will be suspended. But I tell you that live scope, man. This is a big one here. Let's go. Hell yes. Hell yeah. On the jigging spoon, guys. 
on our jigging spoon. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. What a way to start off the day. Fish number two on our jigging spoons. Hell yes. Right down in Brown Town, guys. Look at this. Downtown Milwaukee right here. I'm the only guy out right now. Oh yeah, there's coming up top now. Here's what's cool, is, I don't know if you can see, but that's my fish right there. There's another fish right here. But that's my fish right here. Definitely a good amount of fish on the outside right now. Nice big brown, guys. Nice big brown. Heck yeah. Tanker. Jigging up giants, guys. Jigging up giants on jigging spoons. I used our jigging spoons down in the ocean for tarpon. I used them for lake trout. They work awesome, guys. Here he comes. Look at that big mega. Look at him. Let's go. Let's go. I got him. Got him big in, guys. Hell yeah. I'm going to show you this fish. All right, guys. We got the sun rising this morning. And just scored a mega, mega brown on our new jigging spoon. Big kiped up buck. Look at that. That's probably a 15 pound fish all day long. Keep them in the net. Keep them wet in the water. Let the fish recover in the water. I'm going to unhook it in the water. Take it out. Get a quick pick. Show the video. And let this big mega brown go. All right, we're just gonna hold him in the water for a sec until he's ready, ready to take off. That was a long battle, pretty hard on the fish. And we're just gonna let him go. And there he goes. Heck yeah, guys, meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down, full effect. All right, guys, so I had two hits so far. I've seen a fair amount of fish, especially back in the clean water with no bites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run down here, maybe check out the gaps, check out the river mouth, and uh, just move, see if I can get on some more fish. So I'm going to rig up one of our new prototype custom swim baits, and I'm just gonna crawl it right over the rocks, real slow, kinda looks like a big goby. See if I can get, get one to eat the swim bait. Yeah, let's add a little chartreuse dip and die. Normally I have a Q-tip, but I got gloves on, had a little chartreuse. You know what they say, it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. All right, let's try that out. Just trying to get this tail to move a little bit more and it's a prototype, so I'm just trimming it up a little bit, taking a little bit of plastic off. This is all prototype stuff. We're just trying to figure out how to make really good swim baits. There you go, that looks a little bit better. All right, there's a couple over there. There he is, on a swim bait, guys. Heck yes. Just made that adjustment. Big fish, two big head shakes. Big head shakes, hell yes. Nice big lake trout on one of our new prototype swim baits, guys. Just playing around, trying to figure out, and I'm just was swimming that real slow on the rocks we are on the board well not yet we're on at least feels like a good fish though i got eight pound test leader oh it's nice is that big brown big brown big brown hell yes oh my god big brown yes on one of our new prototype swim baits let's freaking go out here i told you you can catch lake trout and brown trout we weren't getting them going in that shallow water i came in this dirty water look at this big old mama brown hell yes toad 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 oh yes look at this guys absolute mongo just crunch absolutely just crunch that swim bait see that look at that Heck yeah, swim baits for big, big browns. 
That is a donkey. Let's go. Hell yes, on the board. Biggin. Thing is, guys, here's a, th a lot of guys make mistakes now. They take this fish, they flop it in the boat, they let it bounce around in the boat, they grab it by the gills, and then they go to let them go, and these fish die, especially brown, so easy. So you want to have a really big, kind of see how I've got this big hoop net, big catch and release net, really good on the fins. I'm going to let that fish sit in there a second. I'm going to let it recover. I'm going to get my good camera turned on real quick and uh, show them to you. But you got to take really good care of the fish. If you, you know, th these big fish like that are really not that good to eat. If you want to keep brown trout around here, you're going to want to keep a silver one. But we're going to let that fish stay nice and green in the water. Got to take care of them. That's a world class brown, guys. Look at that mega. She's dumping eggs. Big old brown. Welcome to Brown Town. That's what we came down here. She's dumping eggs. Big old fish. I'm going to get this fish back in the water. That's what you get when you come down here. You throw swim baits, jerk baits, blade baits. Big fat mamas. And look at that. There she goes. Hell yes. Scored. I'm telling you, it's kind of been a tough bite. Got a bunch of wind that's going to be rolling in in a little bit so i may have to get kicked off with some wind and rain but i'm going to come back out and we're going to keep casting for browns for lake trout in the harbor yeah you can come here and troll them up too but this video is about how to catch big trout with plastics swim baits any way you can catch them on a spinning rod it's just my jason this is an old jason mitchell spinning rod one of the eyelets broke off we got a jalopy rig quick eyelet fix there but that's me in a nutshell you know me i got two different shoes three different pair of socks on pink underwear you know the deal so but as long as i'm catching big fish especially on one of our new prototype baits like i said i'm just playing around with the action trimming it to figure out what what we really like and then we'll make some molds of the right swim baits and that's where it all starts from we're out here testing baits trying baits we got a new jigging spoons I had one on the jigging spoon that came off and who knows, maybe they want to eat the plastic. So let's go. Just saw a fish on my screen and he gone. So one thing I want to point out to you guys is, I don't know if you can see, but the water clarity in this spot, like you see my jigging spoon right here and you see it going down. It's probably, I could see down about three feet. So you got about three feet of visibility. Now, when I work my way up into these protected areas, the water's gonna get a lot cleaner and clearer up here. And sometimes that's good and sometimes that bad. You know, right here where I'm sitting at this mouth, you kind of got that brackish water where the dirty water meets the cleaner water. And a lot of times that's just a really good fishing spot. Plus you got current that comes right through here. You know, the fish gotta come in and out right here. So you always wanna look for your gaps, your harbors, your clean, dirty water, and not too dirty, that's the key. So one thing I'll point out guys is the water has definitely gotten cleaner in here. And yeah, our jigging spoons work and they work good. They have a fast fall rate, but sometimes if those fish are suspended, you gotta put on like a jig and a plastic and they'll eat that more. I'm gonna try this for about 10, 15 more minutes, but if I keep seeing fish that don't commit and don't eat this, then I'm gonna switch over to either a spawn sack or a jig and a plastic, something with a slower fall rate that I can kind of keep in front of them to kind of coax them into biting. And, and that's what's great about the live scope is you can see how the fish react to your baits while you're casting at them. All right, guys, so I'm in the lagoon. The water is crystal clear in here. I've been seeing fish. I've been seeing them follow a jerk bait, a jigging spoon, a hair jig. They're really not committing to it. So I'm gonna go to the ultimate finesse and go to the old spawn sack. So anytime I come out here as a guide, the one thing I can tell you is versatility. Be ready to troll, be ready to cast, be ready to throw a hair jig, a jigging spoon, like I just keep saying. That's why my boat is always a cluster because I bring everything. I bring the whole damn kitchen sink. I think I even got a plunger in here. So you never know what you're gonna find in my boat. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, I saw him on the live scope and I got him. That's crazy. That was awesome. That was awesome. Here he comes, big head shakes. Nice fish, real nice fish. Look at that, big brown, nice female spawned out brown. 
crystal clear water grab my catch and release clam net here get that ready here he comes there he is and there he goes that was epic first cast looks like they want to eat spawn we got low barometric pressure and sometimes on that low barometric pressure that it's a real tough bite and you just got to finesse fish them oh there he goes heck yeah the meat down beat down smack down crack down continues guys here he comes come here oh oh oh, oh, oh. i'm gonna let you go oh you don't like that net Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, that's a big fish right there. Got him. Oh my God, I got a giant. Oh no. Oh my God, that was a giant I just saw. Oh. Oh, he's coming back for it. He's coming back for it. No way. No way he's gonna eat it again. Oh my God, that was that giant swimming by. I missed him, he's 30 feet right out there. Oh, it broke my heart. Oh, here he comes. Here's that fish that just came up, see if he eats a spawn. Here he comes, he's coming right up to it. Does he got it? Got him, got him, got him. Look at that, I just saw him come up right in front of me. He's right in my live scope. He's right on my live scope. Look at that right here. He's right on the surface, here he comes. I just saw that fish come up, that was crazy. This fish porpoised right in front of me. He swam right at me. I reeled up my spawn bag and you just saw him eat it. That was epic. Another one, not a big one, but a chromer. Now, if you wanted to eat a fish, a brown trout in the harbor here, this would definitely be kind of the size I would recommend. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was awesome. Man, they're eating spawn today, guys. When in doubt, pull out the spawn on a tough bite. I'm just gonna see if I can pop the hook out. It's right in the corner of his mouth. Nice little five, six pounder. Beautiful little fish. Such a pretty fish. Oh, 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 stay still, stay still. Come on. There he goes. Heck yeah, that was awesome. I see a fish down here, just dragging my spawn bag towards him. See if I can get him to eat it. Eat it. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got a big one, yes, yes. I just switched up the spawn and we are on. Let's go, heck yes. Sometimes that's what it takes, guys. You gotta have spawn, jerk bait, everything just to hook up and catch big ones. Let's go. This is a good one, too. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna move some of my stuff out of the way so I don't break it. Let me tell you, there's been lots of broken rods and broken hearts in this boat. And I've got six pound test here. The water's crystal clear, so I went real light line. So you just gotta take your time. I mean, some of these are 10 to, 10 to 20 pound fish on average. And just trying to pull them up real slow. The meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down. Let's go. We're gonna go live right now just to show you what I do. Cancel, home. I'm gonna drop my phone in. Check for connection. We're gonna go live on my Instagram page, guys. We're shooting a live video for the gram and we're shooting a video for the for the YouTube page. Here we go, he's coming up, he's coming up, come on. Just wanna get a look at him. It's crystal clear water here. Oh, he's right underneath the boat. Ooh, 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 get out of that trolling motor. Get out of that trolling motor. We don't want you in that trolling motor. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Let's go around, let's go. Oh, oh, big head shakes. Oh man, he just woke up. He just woke up. What the heck? Honestly, like, I, I've caught a lot of browns, but this one is not like a mega mega. It's not a 20 pounder. It's gonna be probably a 13, 14 pound fish, somewhere in that range. 
But this fish is fighting so damn hard right now, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you talk about the decrease in, in stocking of German browns. Like, yeah, of course, I mean, the big charter boats, they want more salmon and the alewife population is starting to go down and the brown trout and steelhead don't put a huge dent into the alewife population. Even if the alewives were all gone, um, the browns and steelhead would still be able to survive, even the cohos. So it would really be, you know, so much more beneficial to all us spring fishermen, shore fishermen, ice fishermen, tributary fishermen, if the DNR would stock a lot more brown trout. We need more steelhead and more browns. Man, this fish is, you know, I've been to the meetings, I've written my emails, I've, you know, I've done my part, but it's just a lot of it falls on deaf ears when you get out, everybody with these big charter boats lobbying and complaining and these groups get together and they go, well, well, we'll just cut the brown trout so we can stock more salmon. And that's what they did without anybody voting on it, without anything. So unfortunately, uh, that's the way it works sometimes. Here he comes right here, getting right in at it. There she is. Here she comes back up. Nice fish, nice big fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get this fish in the net and then I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna have to kind of put my phone down here for a second, guys, because I, I do have to, This all this clip, uh, not all of it, but a good part of this clip is gonna be my next YouTube video. And we caught them a lot of different ways. So not just on spawn, we caught them on hair jigs, we caught them on jigging spoon so stand by oh yeah here she comes she's up top now that's when you want to net her come here 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 she's going in the net got her got her hell yeah meat down beat down smack down cracked out in full effect let's go look at that big old brown guys oh boy i don't know if you can see her but that's probably a 32 inch fish spawned out big mama she fought really hard and I'm gonna let her go guys I don't know if you can see me ah my other GoPro my other GoPro just died and I got a giant on I got a giant on my I just had this GoPro right here just died on me and I got a giant right now another giant last light giant Holy crap. All right, we're good. We got him in the, we got the net right here. We got last light mega browns. Heck yeah, let's go. This is a big one too, guys. Look at this fish. Look at how big this fish is. Probably 14, 15 pounds. Light tackle, I got six pound test. Come here, come here. Let's see if we can get her in the net. Come on, lift, lift. Yes, got her. Got her. Hell yeah, big fat mama. Guys, look at this fish. Oh my God. Look at this mega, mega brown. Right here in downtown, last light. I'm gonna get this big mama back. Can you see this fish? I mean, look at this. This is such a heavy giant. Oh my God. This was insane. One of the best days I've had finesse fishing down in the harbor. I did a closing about 20 minutes ago because I didn't think I was going to have enough light to finish up the video, but we got it done. Having fun. Beer, brats, big browns right in Brown Town, Milwaukee, guys. Hey, thanks for subscribing to our videos. I hope you like our videos and you're learning something. Next week, I'm going up to Green Bay, going to shoot walleye videos, salmon videos, panfish videos. So subscribe and uh, leave me a comment. So. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching.